Hey everyone, and welcome back to Playcrastination Population 61. Today we are playing... <coughs> <coughs> oh my god. Um, the game is called GASP, but it's all like capitals, so I don't know if it stands for something, like, um, gross anuses, um, you know, uh, slurp on uh, potato chips, but, you know, it could be something like that, but I'm not totally sure. But, uh, I'm gonna go with the sound gasp, so... Credits who made this, don't care. Controls, how to play. Follow us, support the devs. Okay, we'll see. Uh, so this game is a free game on Steam right now, and I thought I'd... I mean, I, if it's free, that's about the only game I can afford at this point, so I figured why not try it. Uh, but I looked at the reviews and the... I didn't, like, read the reviews, but um, the, the like, thumbs up, thumbs down thing was overwhelmingly negative. So... You know, I got a little excited. I want to find out why it's so bad, so let's find out. Uh, now, no DLC if it's this bad. We'll go to the Mun. Warning, this game is not designed to hold your hand. Once you die, then you die. Alright, great to know. Okay. Hello there. Oh, God, this is... I'm fine. Hello? Okay. Alright, I'm receiving nothing. I'm not like that. Let's swing that way. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, Jesus! Oh, my God! Is that an asteroid? Okay, there's a glitch in my visor. You're gonna have to choose one and hope for the best. Your O2 tank wasn't built for long service trips, so you only get one. No! Because I don't think the oxygen will hold out long, so you better oh. hurry. Okay. Good luck, sir. We're all praying. How do you know I'm not a female? Oh my God! Look at that shadow. Okay, so what I'm getting from this is we are on the moon. We we crash landed. There's your storyline. There are asteroids. I can't see them though. Oh, there's one. Dude, it's coming in like a golf ball. Dude, whoever just hit that. Good shot. That landed right next to me. Uh, we have an oxygen level down here in the bottom. For some reason, like when I look down and when I look up, the the you know the the moon changes colors, but that's okay. We have 85, 84 percent now oxygen. Uh, our thing when the screen goes bloody, does that mean something hit us? Cause I cannot tell. I mean, I think we got pelted by an asteroid right off the bat and lost like 10 oxygen, so that's unfortunate. And things are, things are still trying to hit us. All these warning signs, I think, are asteroids coming in. Okay, and let me let me get this straight, game. I just wanna, I just wanna make, <sighs> I just wanna make sure I'm giving your game the benefit of the doubt here. So we crash landed on this planet. One of these five signals is an old. Oh my God! Look how far away they are. That's five thousand meters or minutes or something. We got hit again. Apparently, I didn't see it. That's 5,000. We got hit again. You, you want to get off my butt cheeks? Um, those are thousands of meters away. Okay, so basically what I'm understanding is... Each of these is something, but only one of them is actually our actual objective. <gasps> that almost skinned the top of my dome piece. Okay, so only one of these is actually our objective, like our, our buddies, our, our astronaut pal, our astronaut crew. Only one of these is right. But what she said at the beginning was that you... They seem like really small when they're coming in, and then when you actually see them on the ground, they're freaking like look. They're like, oh, it's tiny, and then it hits the ground. And you're like, that's the largest asteroid. Apparently, I was just blasted in my butt. Um, yeah, so only one of these is the correct one. I feel like it might be this one. I don't know if it's random every time or what. I think I might just go for the close one. Oh, if we jump off the cliff, will we die? Will I break my ankles? Let's find out. Diving board. Oh, we got the moon jump technology. Uh, oh god, everything's dark. No, you understand. No, you understand. The sun can't just go out on me. Okay, so what what it seems like is this is basically. A Russian roulette, where you choose one of them, because she said you only have enough oxygen to make it to one. So it seemed to me like it's essentially a Russian roulette, um, but instead of like putting a gun up to your head and you know hoping the bullets are in there and you know having some sort of excitement, it's literally just a walking simulator. Now, now I don't want to be like, like rude. Like maybe it's just you know I, I don't know if there's any enemies yet. There, it, this kind of reminds me of like Mass Effect um, when you go to, like the random planets and there's like giant worms that pop up. Um, but you know so far I haven't really seen any of that. And the what's that? Oh, it's an asteroid. Hello! I tried to jump in, but it didn't work. 
Okay, this one's only 800 away, so I think we just go for that one first. And I think we can try to find the ones behind it next. Excuse me, square. Hello? I, I just don't know, like... This has already been five minutes, and this one I think was only a thousand or so away. I know this one was five thousand. We've only gone five hundred meters in five. You can go a hundred meters a minute. This would literally take you. Oh god, I can't do math. Like forty-five minutes to reach. Am I, am I doing that right? If it takes a hundred meters a minute, yeah, would it, would it be forty-five minutes? That's ridiculous. Maybe I'm just going slow, but I don't have the the page. Also, I don't think oxygen levels would last that long. Maybe just because I've been hit so many times. But like, this is probably because it's the farthest. My imagination is. Oh, please don't hit me. No, no, no. Sidestep. Sidestep. Oh. So no enemies such such far, no enemies thus far. Um, now I, I don't want to be like like I said, maybe I just have like a poor impression of this game thus far because of the reviews, like the the overwhelmingly negative review things that it got. I could be what what are these things on the what's this map down here for? Visor GPS prototype suit A two three. Oh, it shows me where the asteroids are coming in. The little dots are asteroids. Jump on the asteroid. Oh, okay, I can't kick flip it. Okay, this one's only six hundred away, so we'll check this one. Um, but yeah, maybe I don't know what other features this game has besides. You know, walking and dodging asteroids. And, you know, maybe if that's the game you're looking for, this could be the game of the year for you. Um, also, breathing is pretty, you know, important in this game. I'm do my guy's doing a... Hello? My guy's doing quite a bit of breathing. Um, there are no more. I was hoping she'd, like, send me a message. Okay, we're getting kind of close to this one, so we'll be here in probably, like, uh, four minutes. So, uh, we're going... Excuse me, I'll throw up. We're going a little faster than 100 meters a minute, so this one will probably only take 30 minutes to get to. <laughs> uh, which I don't have the, the, the time for. There's just, you know, like I said, don't want to be mean. The, first of all, the game looks really, really good. It was a large download, which kind of had me excited for, for it being potentially a good game. Um, but I can see that a lot of that, so, so, you know, like, so the game devs, I don't know, I imagine they won't be watching this, but if they happen to me, maybe they want to see what people think. Look at the asteroids that have fallen here. I haven't even come here yet. It's a big open field. Oh my god, we got, we got life. Is that a sign of life? Oh my god, get me over there. If there was a sprint button, this would make, I mean, I guess we're on the moon, so there's not much, you have to do the low gravity thing. That's the thing, if this was just a walking simulator, that would be one thing, but since it's a walking simulator on the moon, that, I thought there was an asteroid there. It's just not coming down. Oh, it is coming. Oh, it just blew up into pieces. Because this is an asteroid or walking simulator on the moon, on the beach, it, it just, it loses a little bit of the, like, like the slowness of our walking just makes it unbearable. Warning, warning, warning. Asteroids coming in and have a 1 in 300 chance of actually making contact with you. Except for that first one that smoked us right off the bat. Also, this entire field is filled with asteroids. I want to get hit by some more asteroids just to, just to see what, what we've got going on out here. Oh my god. This, there's just, we're just going to snail's pace. We're going to Gary the snail's pace. But it's okay, we're within 100. Are those asteroids? I mean, are, is it life? What is it? What's the unknown signal? Tomb of the unknown signal. W what is it? We're 50 away. I see it. I see it. Oh, but there's things coming in. No, you don't understand. No, you don't understand. I need to get to this. Unknown signal. It's a, it's a freaking, it's a backpack. It's an old N64. It's a... Prototype skateboard. What is it? It's nothing. All right, sixty-nine percent oxygen levels. <laughs> Sex. Okay. Um. Hey, we made it fifteen hundred meters from our crash site, and we're at ten minutes. So you know, do the math there. We're at two thirds of mile something. We're at a. I don't know how to do it. Two thirds something. Um, sixty-eight percent. Okay. Well, one is not that, and she said we don't have enough oxygen to make it to one. So can we even make it? To, I'm gonna try to make it to the other ones. But, you know, uh, unless something else changes, I'm gonna go ahead and say my review is, uh, you know, I'll give these, I'll give the devs the benefit of the doubt. Like I said, game looks amazing. Uh, when I was a kid, I was, like, obsessed with space, everything, everything seeming to do with space. And so, you know, the atmosphere is really cool. I wanted to be an astronaut from, like, age, like, four to, like, nine, so, you know, I I'm living out my dreams. And if this is what the life of an astronaut is, then I freaking hate it. And I I'm glad I am not doing that because I'm just walking. All I'm doing is walking, and that involves, can I even make it up this ridge? It's so tall. Um, so yeah, you know, this this could be the basis of of a cool game. You know, maybe if they turn, if they use the base they have here, which is this very large map, first of all, at least it seems expansive based on how far away this crap is. If they take that, um, you know, maybe increase the walking speed a bit, and you know what, I don't want to like change the, the basis of what their entire game is, but just so you, because like, as it stands right now, it seems like it's, excuse me, as it stands right now, it seems like it's basically just, you spawn, you walk to an endpoint, you walk to unknown signal, you walk to whatever, and if you make it there in time, you win, if you find, well, first of all, if you find the right one, can we not go up this mountain, can we jump up it, if you make it to the right one, and you happen to find the right one, also the lighting is very bad, um, then you win, if you don't make it to the right one, uh, you're effed, and you lose, so maybe to, like, 
You could, like, I don't want to, like, change the foundation of what the game is. That's a large shadow. I don't want to change the foundation of what the game is as a whole. But if you turned it into more of, like, a survival crafting type of game, maybe, where you spawn, and, you know, your ship, it, the, the crash site is your hub, and you can go around and you can collect, you know, like, moon supplies. Maybe it doesn't have to take place on the moon, because the moon's kind of boring. Put it on a, another alien planet, and you've got maybe all these unknown signals that you can investigate, you know, at your leisure. You know, you know make a base at your, at your crash site. And then, you know, gather supplies, get enough supplies, maybe add some enemies besides asteroids, because, you know, I've only been hit by one so far, so they're not that fearsome a foe. Let's see if I can get hit by this one. Dude, come at me. No, you're overshooting. It it just vanished into the sky, so that's okay. Um, Oh, this one's for sure coming in. Oh, it's coming in. It's too short. What hit us? Something keeps, like, swiping at me from the side. Maybe there are enemies, I don't know. But, you know, maybe add some enemies, maybe add some weapons. <laughs> just take from every other successful game franchise and implement it into yours. But no, if I can make, like, one recommendation, I think maybe adding a crafting system. And so you don't have to do this all in one run. Like, keep these objectives this far. Because if it's going to take me... It's been 13-ish minutes. And, and we've only made it to one so far. If In this far one, we've only made, like, 2,000 meters progress. Um, so if it's going to take 30 minutes to reach one, you know, why not add a little crafting system so you can, like, create a base, you can save, you can create more oxygen so you can survive longer, fight some enemies along the way, you know. Excuse me? Hello? I don't know. Those are, I'm no, uh, I lost which way I was going. I lost the way I was going. I think I was going this way. Please do not go back to the original one. You know, I'm no, I'm not a game developer, so I don't, uh, really know how to make a successful game franchise or game in general, but, you know, um, that's kind of what pops out to me as potential improvements. Um, so, you know, if I had to rate this game, Currently, I would, I don't know if I'd say overwhelmingly negative. I would say it has a, uh, great graphics. Well, decent graphics for a free game. Um, I'll say it has a solid foundation. Um, and not just in the smooth sand that I'm stepping on, but, you know, as a, as a game in general, you could build on this and, and make it into something pretty cool. Um, but for now, it's just kind of lacking that special sauce that goes into every Big Mac, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just missing out on, on that thing that'll make it great. But it's okay, we're about to arrive at our second, <laughs> what, what, never mind, I'm not even gonna go there, but we're about to arrive at our second destination. But, no, I'm stuck. No, what is happening? No, you don't understand. No, I can't. No, I can't. How, how am I supposed to get there? There's invisible walls impeding my progress. No! 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 Can I jump over them? Uh. Also, the whole, like, turning is just very, very odd. It's It kind of makes me, like, a little bit motion sick, but not, is this line right here, like, the invisible wall? No, it's not. We walked over it. Now it's the invisible wall. I want to... You don't understand there's a signal over there. Do we have to go a specific path to get it? I didn't realize there were gravitational pull fields on the moon that disallow you from going to certain locations. God, the moon is so unbearable. Am I right, guys? Am I right? I think I'm right. Um, I still can't, like, pass this invisible force field. Did Mr. Mime use barrier or something? Because we are... We are struggling. Oh, okay, I must have just bashed my head into the ground or something. Also, it feels like... Whenever we step with our left leg, our head tilts so much more to the left for some reason. Like, we're just, we got that walking pattern in motion where we're like, tilt and left, tilt and left. Can we, can we go to the signals yet? Alright. What happened? I've exited out of the game. Hold on. What, what the heck? Hold, what, what is going on? Okay. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> I'm back in the game. There we go. I accidentally clicked off screen. We're, we're still, not that it mattered because we can't move anywhere anyway. Now, this is, this is, you know, not the nicest thing, but it, what is, what is kind of fun, uh, because, you know, whenever you have a game that, uh, gets overwhelmingly negative reviews, it's kind of, you know, it may be a little rude, but it's kind of fun to read, you know, some of the, some of the Steam reviews, so we'll go ahead and, let's see if we can pull up some of those and, and read some of them. Let's see. You know, it gives me something to do while I'm trying to phase through this invisible wall that's impeding my progress. Um, oh, here we go. Top, uh, top review. It's a good way of making sure your Steam uninstall feature still works, so, that, that's a good one. Um, oh god, let me try to try to scroll on this page while playing at the same time. Now I'm all disoriented, combobulated. That's a crash though. We don't want to go that way. We want to go... Oh my god, did I make it past the force field? I did not, so we'll just, you know, continue. Let's see. My friend told me this to try this really good game. I look and see the review says overwhelmingly negative. I watched the video. Game looked good. I didn't know why people thought the game was bad. Spawned in. Seemed like one of my legs was 10 feet and the other was 5 feet. <laughs> oh my god, what is happening? What is happening? Um, looked down. The world turned black. I then noticed I was one foot tall. Oh my god, I am. Oh my god, I didn't even realize how short we are. <laughs> the, like, the, what do you call that? The area of whatever is, is very... Well, I guess we're going for this one to the left, because because we're off. Also, like, you can't... I can't center my mouse. I don't know if you can see my mouse, but I can't center it on the screen. It just makes me keep going that way. So we have to go this way. Okay. Instantly got hit by an aimbot Koopa shell. Uh, I, can hit, I can see you there. Listened to a girl recording in her bedroom. I'm pretty sure I heard dinner's ready. Slowly hopped around for at least 10 million Sverdbergs. What the heck is a Sverdberg? In the distance, I saw what looked like some sort of man-made apparatus. I saw a rock in the way, and when I was 70 meters away, I cut to a screen that looked like no texture texture and saw some vexing words of simulation over. I then gasped as my diarrhea flew back into my cornholio. I s what? All right, solid, solid review there by a, by a loyal contributor. Um, 
What does this say? What does this say? 10 out of 10 would get motion sick again. I can, I can, I can see that the, the, the panning motion is just a little odd. That's kind of why I'm reading these now, because I need to look away. This game changed my life. Oh, this is a positive review. This game changed my life. I was going through a rough time, you know? Really down in the dumps, but this game picked me back up and kept me above the... What just hit me? And kept me above the water. The sheer joy I get from traversing the sapia-filtered moon is indescribable. The rush of adrenaline I get from walking around like I'm breakdancing, with my camera nearly hitting the floor and tilting 45 degrees each way. The compassion I feel when asteroids are coming at me from all directions at space is Mach 3. The calming sensation I get from being sniped 2,305 meters away every 30 seconds by the International Space Station, which inexplicably decides to orbit the moon and not the Earth. This game seriously changed me in all the right ways. Thank you. Is that what's shooting me? I saw that. Is that what's shooting me? Shoot me. I wonder if that's what just hit me. Because I'm, I'm getting hit every couple seconds. I wonder if that's how they freaking make sure you lose oxygen as they shoot you. Well, that's not very good. Uh, Houston, we have a problem, and that's that you're trying to murder me. Um, oops, God, I freaking logged out of the game again. It's okay, though. What else we got? Zero out of ten would rather get kidnapped than play this game again. I mean, it's a little, it's a little brutal. It's a little brutal. I understand, though. If you like walking at the speed of a 100-year-old cripple, this is the game for you. If you like catching meteor-sized bullets with your face, this game is for you. If you like downloading games and deleting them five minutes later, this game is for you. Uh, excuse me, I've been playing for a solid uh, 15 to 20 minutes now, and uh, I love it. So I'd rather you did not insult my favorite game of the year. Uh, what else we got? Do you want a game where you can't change the volume? What about a game that has an imaginary multiplayer? Or you could even want a game that throws bouncy asteroids at you. Well, then this game is the game for you. Hop around the moon for about three kilometers. Find a radio on the ground and look at it. It's exhilarating. All those games with the plot line, skills, and good mechanics are overrated. This is the game for you. I feel like really bad reading these because, like, some of these are brutal. <laughs> but, I mean... I, I'd like to think these are mostly constructive criticism. Did we get completely turned around, BT Dubs? We may have gotten completely turned around. I lost my mouse pointer. My mouse pointer is gone. Oh, there it is. It's back. The mouse pointer gets like all... Now, now when I put it... Every time I change the mouse pointer, like I take it off the screen, it messes with the mouse pointer on this game. Now when I put the mouse pointer in the middle of the screen, I'm like looking straight up in the sky. So that's not good. I would rather be left on the moon without oxygen than play more of this torture device. Oh god, do you think they use this game in Guantanamo as like a as a means of getting information? I don't know. I can't, I'm enjoying it. it. When I'm not looking at the screen and not about to vomit... <laughs> I need a tic tac. Oh god. Mm. Oh god. Don't you hate when you're pouring tic tacs in your mouth? Are you pouring 97 of them in? Mm. That's unfortunate. That's quite unfortunate. Oh god. Oh god. This was a bad decision. I can't talk. Hold on. I need a crunch these. They're too solid. Oh god. Oh god. Ow. Mm. I'm sorry to anybody else on my roof. This sounds obviously sexual. I'm just crunching tic tacs. Oh. Uh. Mm. 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 Poor decision. I think I broke my right back molar. Okay. I have those Tic Tacs that are like the, um, the orange flavor, which really, if you're going to be honest, aren't even Tic Tacs. They're just, they're not mints. They're just candy. So that's my favorite kind of Tic Tac. Okay. Okay. So far, I'm not seeing any reviews about invisible walls. This game is for people that love to run into invisible walls when you're only 900 meters away from your signal. That is literally me. I could have written that exact, exact review. We're within 900 of another one, though. So once we reach this one, I kind of just want to dot. No, no. Don't you invisible wall me. No! 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 I can't even... Is this the same? This is a different ast... No, this is a different signal. And I still am in an invisible wall. Oh my god. There it is. It's probably in there. Let me in. Just let me in your crater. I know that sounds gross. But let me inside your crater. Oh my god, we're like glitching into the ground. Please. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are we going to break through? Oh, come on. No, make it over the ridge. Just make it over the G. <gasps> just get over the ridge. Just get over the ridge. I want, in the, I want in your hole. There's so many rocks in that crater. I want to join them. I want to fly away. I'm flying. I'm literally flying. Oh, my God. We're going to make it in. I think we might make it to the signal. This review says, booted up the game, got to unknown signal, couldn't interact, gave up, quit, uninstall. Uninstall works great. Oh. You think they would, like, fix these things, like, as people would, would, because this game has been out for... Let me, let me scroll back to the top of these reviews. I'm pretty sure this game has been available for like a month or so. And so you think they would have been getting these um, these reviews in by now. And you know, are you know probably crying themselves to sleep at night. So I feel bad for them. But uh, I feel bad for you, son. I got 99 problems and they're all in this game. Let's see. The game has been out since November 12th. So they've had this out for like two months now. Almost. One, two. I mean, Borderline 3. And it says here they've got patch notes. They've got like update 1.4 now live. Random Windows 10 crash. End stage collide issues. Added different types of asteroids. I'm not seeing any asteroids. So if you could... Bring some my way. We're so close to this signal, and it is seriously peeving me off that that we're not. And you know what? I'm probably going to have to go in post to this, and just to, just to you know, keep it a little more interesting, I may just, you know, increase the speed of this entire video, um, just because we're, what are, what are we at right now? We're at freaking, oh, uh, we're at like 30 minutes, so you know what? Um, I think I'm done, because we can't reach, 
We can't reach this signal, even though we are now in the crater. Or we're at least, like, borderline on the crater. I don't think we can reach this signal that is right there. Even though I'd like to, because I would like to finish this godforsaken game and come out with some dignity. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's going to be happening today, so... Um... Yeah, basically, that's gonna be it for this one. What, uh, you know? Oh, I guess I should have explained at the beginning, which I didn't, and I'm realizing is you're gonna be very confused. Um, so the reason this game is coming out on Sunday rather than, um, you know, the typical WAP is... Uh, I did a poll on Twitter, just kind of asking... I, I talked about it last WAP as well, talking about if you guys would rather me do a WAP every week, or maybe, like, bi-weekly, um, and do an indie game instead in between. Except then I'm gonna have to change the name to the WAP, which is gonna be a little harder to say, but maybe a little more... Maybe I can find a different sound effect. Or we could do it once a month and make it the map. But that's that's super boring since that's already a word. But I don't know, we'll talk about it. I might just keep it the weekly address to play Crastination, but then do it once a month anyway. And then it'll make absolutely no sense, so... This has a lovely butthole. You gotta... Why is this asteroid, like, literally cut in half? Alright, anyway, we're gonna... I, I can't do this anymore. The music is kind of, like, having this hypnotic effect on me that's, like, starting to melt my brain. I don't even care what happens when you run out of oxygen. You know what, get me out of here. Just, 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 just quit. Oh... It literally quit out of everything. So, <laughs> thought it'd like take me to the main screen, but um, you know, apparently they don't have that function in there. But thank you guys for watching. Uh, sorry for putting us through that. If you uh, did enjoy that game for some reason, you can pick it up on Steam for free. Uh, and if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and subscribe to become a citizen of Playcrastination today. And I'll see you guys next time for any game other than that.